Today we are testing out the BC Hydro EV fast charger and its 100 kilowatt hour version. Um, I just wanted to come down here to Cloverdale in British Columbia, Canada to check it out. So we plugged in, we're currently charging at 55. Um, battery temperature is not great because we're only at 17 degrees. So here we're only getting 50.9, so we're losing Oh, now we're going up a little bit. So we're losing a bit to, to the heating. I guess the car has to heat up the battery as well. You know, ideally I would like to arrive with uh, 20%. But yeah, this is not going to be a, uh, you know, a, the usual test. Let's call it a quick test or, you know, a quick look. Um, but uh, I just, I was here in the area and decided, okay, let's give it a shot and let's try it out and see if how far, how close to 100 kilowatt we can get. Obviously the Kia can only do 75-ish um, when the battery gets hot enough. So let's see if we can even get to that on, on this charger here. Cause it is a bit more uh, pricey and a bit more expensive than the usual versions um, of fast charging that is available here in BC. So I just want to see if it's uh, worth the money. So here is the location of the charger itself is down what can be described as an alley. Um, so there are two chargers. There's the old 50 kilowatt, which I really, really like. And I always suggest people use it. And then this is the new 100 kilowatt fast charge. So same style of charger, um, just apparently faster. Okay, batteries are now at 18 degrees but it's really cold outside today. It's 1.5 degrees outside temperature and we're getting around 53 kilowatt into the battery right now. So the state of charge is right now 31%, but the display says 32. So we have a loss of one kilowatt or sorry, 1% due to, you know, car heating the battery. So let's have a look if, um there's anywhere to go and eat here in Cloverdale if you're charging or buy a drink or something like that. But yeah, like I said, it's uh, down an alley. Um, so there should be something around here. Stores at least. So let's have a quick look. Oh yeah, just behind the alley guys. Lots and lots of places, lots of little small stores. You got a pizza place up here. Um, you've got a, what appears to be a deli right here. So this is just behind the, the charger. So um, if you're on a road trip, because this is very close to the US border, check the description for the link to plug share. So if you're coming across the border from the US or going to the US and you need a, a little bit of a faster charge, this is a good option, I guess. Now there's an Indian place up there. And then this one, this looks like an old theater of sorts. Very, very cool. Like I've never been to this part of, uh, Surrey, the Cloverdale area, but it looks very nice, like old school Canada. And then there's even this cool place called Vault Restaurant, just behind the chargers. So this is a cool option too. Looks very artsy. Definitely a very good location for a charger, I have to say. Um, lots of things to do and uh, go to eat if you want to stay here for a bit longer. The only problem is, are we actually getting anywhere close to the charge that's being advertised? And I have to say, probably not. And if we're not getting those speeds, there's really no point to come out of the way and, and actually come and, and visit this charger because, you know, the basic 50 kilowatt PC hydro chargers that are cheaper than this one are good enough. Get in the car and see what we're getting right now. And we are getting 54 kilowatt. That's it. That's all. Battery's at 23 degrees right now. So if I'm at, um, what, what, what is, which one is that? Uh, Electrify Canada. If I'm at um, charge point even, right? With their 62.5 kilowatt charger. At this time, I should be getting close to around 60 kilowatt um, if I'm there. So the 100 kilowatt option from BC Hydro guys, I don't think that's a, it's a viable choice right now. Um, speeds are just not there to pay that added premium. Now, what do I mean by the difference in price? So I just pulled up the app on my phone, the BC Hydro map. So um, 
for the normal 50 kilowatt uh, charger, we are paying 21 cents per minute. And for this 100 kilowatt hour, we're paying 27 cents per minute. So that's a difference of six cents. Um, when you're talking about time, you know, and we've had this, you know, conversation in the comments be before about um, paying by the minute versus paying by the kilowatt. Um, so when you have that big of a difference and you're actually not getting anything more than what I used to get on the regular 50 kilowatt charger, it really isn't worth it. I mean, I'm getting a 54.3 right now, um, car scanner showing me. And as you guys can remember from the old video, uh, the one that I did about the regular 50 kilowatt, I was getting um, 49, 48, if I remember correctly. Um, so that's pretty decent, getting that kind of speed from a 50 kilowatt hour charger. So, um, yeah, I don't know, I don't know. This is not, not a recommended, not yet anyways. Maybe it's because it's winter and it's 1.5 degrees and, you know, the battery has been cold and all that. Sure, I tested Electrify Canada, it was around the same temperature and I was getting uh, much higher speeds than I'm getting here. Um, and I looked at PlugShare and there was a guy with a Kia Soul EV as well. And he posted there that he got 54. So I guess this is what we're going to max out on today. It's unfortunate because I highly recommend the 50 kilowatt chargers from BC Hydro. They're amazing and they're everywhere and even in small towns. But the 100 kilowatt option needs a little bit of tweaking. So BC Hydro, get on it, eh? Make sure that these actually perform as advertised. I would love to get at least close to 70 kilowatt, you know, of, of charge speed here because, yeah, this is, uh, this is not good. <laughs> Plus another thing that is not ideal with these chargers is the placement. And uh, usually when you go up to um, a BC Hydro chargers, you just pull into the front of the charger. So it's easy. And these cables are rather short, so you do have to stretch it a bit so you know but I'm also starting to really hate this idea from Kia having this charge port in the front it really doesn't work for me I wish it was on the sides either or they should pick a side and then just use it there but yeah the placement not ideal but also Kia's fault for putting the charge port in the front and after spending a winter with it and getting it all dirty and stuff on the front I really really dislike that oh we just dipped guys we just dipped to 41 <laughs> and we dipped at what at 59 percent well uh, the state of charge is actually 58 the car is reporting 59.5 so there's been a lot of loss due to probably heating the battery the battery is at 26 degrees right now auto temperature has not changed since we started charging but yeah honestly disappointing let's see if this jumps back up but if you guys remember my video from before with the 50 kilowatt, I, it, it didn't start dipping until we got into the 70s. Um, so yeah, I think it's a better option to go with the 50 kilowatt right now. That's my assumption. But yeah, I'll check back in when we get to around 70 and then see what, what's going on there, how far we've dipped. Oh wow, this is very, very inconsistent. Now we're <laughs> back up to 57. So we dropped down to 40, now we're up back to 57. And if you guys are asking me, HVAC is off. Um, so, so I don't get it. It's not really stable at those speeds. Oh, the afterburners have turned on in the Kia, guys. The afterburners have turned on. We have hit 27 degrees on the battery. So um, let's see. Let's see what happens next. But we're at 60, 62% um, the car says, but actually it's 60.5. Um, so yeah, let's, let's see, let's see what happens later on when we get around 70, but yeah, after burners are on, the battery cooling has started. So we just hit 72.5, um, on the car, but 70% actual charge and we just dipped to 35. So that would mean basically at this point, the best idea is to, um, uh, unplug and just go, um, because at 30 kilowatt, that speed is very, very low. And there's no point paying that extra premium for for such slow speeds but um since this is a quick test i'm going to go all the way to 80 because that's my standard whenever i do these uh fast charger reviews here 
um, and I just want to see uh, if we get close to 80 what kind of speeds we're gonna get but uh, yeah 35 um, actual kilowatt into the battery um, it's, it's no point unplug and go if you're doing this just for yourself and then one th more thing that's very strange is uh, the EV symbol here is blue when I first pulled in I thought this was a handicapped space so I was like are we able to park here and charge um, everywhere else that I've been it's always been green so I'm not really sure what's going on with that one um, perhaps uh, BC Hydro ran out of green paint <laughs> and they had to use blue not sure um, but we're still going strong here at 35 kilowatt into the battery we're at uh, 76.5 with the car showing an actual 74.5 so yeah all right guys so we're at 79 percent uh, that's what the car is reporting actual is 77 so um, I'm going to need to overlay car scanner just now for you so you see we've dipped down to 23 point five ish um, kilowatt going into the battery that's our charging speed right now um, so yeah it's not awesome we, we dip quite quickly to that uh, 23 so definitely definitely if you guys are um, using this charger um, on your own like I said when you start dipping into the 30s that's the best time to unplug and go there's no point to spend that extra money because you're not getting that value that you should be getting and this is why I'm saying that the 50 kilowatt option from BC Hydro it's such a better option right now for them um, oh, for, for us, not for them. For them, this one is a better option, obviously, because they're making more money. The hell am I talking about? But yeah, for us as users, it's definitely better to just invest in the 50 kilowatt um, option instead. And, and at least you're getting that constant, predictable charging speed that I talked about in my original video. So yeah, this is not great. Um, oh, there we go. We just hit 80 car scanner has shown 80 as you guys can see in the overlay here um, we actually put in um, uh, 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 only 77.5 percent into the battery so there was a loss of 2.5 percent um, and yeah that's it so let me unplug so someone else can use this overpriced uh, 100 kilowatt uh, hour charger from uh, bc hydro but i don't think so with the 50 right next to it people are gonna wait to get the cheaper charge I'm guessing I'm a huge fan of the 50 kilowatt chargers from BC Hydro I've said that more than a few times on the channel um, you guys can check out the review to said uh, charger if you want um, but I would not recommend the 100 kilowatt um, I will have to check it out in the summer again because it is only 1.5 degrees today so it is a bit colder so definitely I will try this again in the summer just to compare and see how different it would be but as of right now, today, um, I would not suggest using it. Um, the added six cents per minute that you have to pay for this makes no sense at all. Um, the 50 kilowatt charger is good enough, it's cheaper, it's reliable, and it's also here. So if you show up at the charger, um, just use the 50 kilowatt or go to other BC Hydro chargers. So here's a message for BC Hydro if you guys watch this video. Um, we need more fast chargers. Um, you know i'm a huge proponent of that especially for a lot of people who don't have charging at home and who have only a few minutes to go and charge a car somewhere because they need a charge for the next morning or whatever and they don't want to use you know level two charging so this would be something good and then you know the the installs are here so switching out these chargers and making them a bit faster i think it would be a beneficial but they have to work um ChargePoint is doing well with their 62.5 kilowatt chargers, which I tested. You're almost getting max speed over there. So if there is a choice between a BC Hydro 100 kilowatt or a ChargePoint 62.5, go for the ChargePoint any day of the week until BC Hydro figures it out and makes sure that these chargers actually deliver the power that is being advertised. Right now they don't. So yeah, that's it for today, guys. BC Hydro 50 kilowatt is the clear winner. The 100 kilowatt needs work. Um, so yeah, charge on the 50. Thank you for watching. Make sure uh, to stay tuned for more videos. And as always, take care and see you on the next one.